Our next guest is a brilliant stand-up comedian and host of the new podcast, A Very Long Conversation with Jack Antonoff. Please welcome the hilarious Chris Laker. I get asked if I'm okay a lot. <laughs> it's fine. People are concerned about my face. <laughs> it's just that after I say, yeah, I'm okay, they always come back with, are you sure? <laughs> I have a girlfriend, I live with her, there's, there's a person who loves me. Uh, <laughs> she's more successful than me, she makes more money than me, which one of us had to do that. <laughs> we couldn't both make as much money as me and live indoors. <laughs> But I know some dudes, they say to me, oh, I could never be with a woman who makes more money than me. And I tell them, give it a shot. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> I get to live better than I deserve. <laughs> and we get to be feminist together. <laughs> I love being feminist. It's my favorite thing to do. We go out to eat, and then the waiter will just hand me the bill. I'll look up at him and shake my head. <laughs> what year is this man? <laughs> Over there. <laughs> my girlfriend's a millennial. I'm not, but she is, and I got my couch in the mail, so I feel like I'm close. <laughs> People are so angry at millennials still. Like, they're not even young anymore. They're like 40. <laughs> I don't know what they did to get people so mad at them. It seems to have something to do with trophies. <laughs> not sure what it is about not getting a participation trophy that makes you yell about it for the rest of your life, but these people are mad. <laughs> I say we get them a trophy. <laughs> I loved my participation trophy. I wasn't good at soccer. I wanted a trophy. I was eight. My team scored one goal the entire season, and I wasn't there that day. <laughs> Still, I got invited to the big trophy dinner, and we gathered in a church basement and ate ziti off styrofoam plates. <laughs> I got this little gold guy kicking a soccer ball, and I loved it. I put it up in my bookcase. Didn't realize I was ruining the country. <laughs> The thing I don't understand about these trophy truthers <laughs> they seem to be saying, you know what's way too easy that we need to make more difficult? Childhood. <laughs> Remember what a breeze that was? Figuring out how to be a person? Getting the worst advice from adults. Adults told me, stand up to your bully. He's a coward. He was not a coward. <laughs> emotionally disturbed <laughs> and very strong <laughs> punched me right in the face that's a, I learned nothing from that either you know I, I'm supposed to learn they say bullies they teach life lessons they build character that's a lie spread by corporations in order to prop up the prison industrial complex <laughs> Now, I'm all for getting angry at an entire generation. Makes sense to me. Yeah. Someone should be punished for the passage of time. <laughs> We're all getting older. Someone's got to pay. <laughs> but not like the millennials or Gen Z. We're done making them. They've all rolled off the lot. What about this new stuff that's coming out right now? <laughs> I got a little baby niece. Why do I got to wait 20 years to get mad at her? Because that's what's going to happen. Little babies are cute. 20 years later, we hate their guts. <laughs> We're all going to be standing around talking about them. It'll be, oh, these kids, they don't understand. Remember when we were young? You needed weed. You texted your weed guy. He came over. You had a conversation. <laughs> now they got drones dropping it off. Nobody talks to their weed guy anymore. <laughs> 
and they don't understand love. Remember when we were young, you fell in love, you took out your telephone, you took a picture of your genitals. <laughs> You sent it. You didn't know what was going to happen. Then you got genitals back and you knew you were in love. <laughs> like, I'm going to marry this person. That's how I met your grandmother. <laughs> that's right, that's the picture that's on the mantle. <laughs> I love all of you so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this Lego. Check out his podcast, A Very Long Conversation with Jack Andrew. I'm streaming now. We'll be right back, everybody.